Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to define the head and body of an HTML element. This is normal job. This is normal HTML stuff that everybody needs to know. This is just the structure for all web pages. So this should be quite um, familiar to all web developers. You're going to see this a lot. You'll remember it. We've already got the doc type set up. We already have HTML set up. And so what we want to do now is define the head and the body. So the head goes directly after the HTML. And then we want to close the heading tag. After the head, the head's not visible on the page. You'll see the best page ever. It's here, but it's um, if you put exclamation point here, you'll see that this is not the title. The title is actually goes in the head of the thing. Um, the title is this in this page, basic HTML and HTML5. This is where this title information comes in. So on this page, the title information will show here. Now, after we set the head, we want to set the body. We set the body by going like this. And then we want to make sure we close the body tag. And this lines everything up. Um, because I'm a stickler for writing code cleanly, I want to make sure to indent here. This is the uh, structure that I generally use. Um, if, say, we wanted to make the title different, we would do it like this. And this would be the way to structure it. This makes it so your code's more readable. Um, because of the title, is um, so short, it's easy to put it like this and it still keeps your code looking clean, but indenting is valuable um, from my perspective because I think it's really important to write clean code. Um, let's see if it passed. We did it. Okay, moving on to the next one. Oh, that wraps up the HTML. You're now an HTML expert, so uh, congratulations. See you in the next lesson. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, uh, like, hit the like button, and um, share it with your friends. Thanks for um, watching. See you in the next lesson.